Hello and welcome to PCI's DEM Editing Best Practices video guides. In this chapter we are going to go over best practices for DEM editing of complex overpasses and DEMs extracted from high-res satellite imagery. Our main objectives in this video include how to approach complex overpasses, improving accuracy of the overpass, fixing broken sections, and verifying accuracy. So we're going to use a DEM that was extracted from high resolution Pleiades stereo imagery. It's a 1.5 meter DSM of Melbourne, Australia. So if we go down into this area, we can see that we have an overpass here where we have number one, a gradient, and number two, we have a broken section followed by two areas that are mostly intact. So we can enter our DEM editing environment by going to DEM editing under layer. And then we're just going to give ourselves a little bit more canvas to play with by removing the control panel. I'm going to click on the create new polygon layer. This is going to be our active DEM uh, editing or polygon editing layer. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a one to one window over our area of interest so we can see what the orthos look like that are derived from this DEM or digital surface model. So the way that you would approach the uh, uh, an overpass is you would break it down into different sections. So we're just worried about this area right here in this particular uh, video guide and we're going to break this area into three main sections. So we have our mostly intact section here before the break, section two the break itself, and section three the mostly intact area after the break. So we would start by improving and smoothing out sections one and then section three and then we repair section two. So let's get right into it. Let's start by improving section three here. So I can draw a polygon that roughly outlines the area and it just goes until approximately until we get to the part where it starts to break down. We can use our one-to-one -one window to just refine this slightly because remember we do want to make sure that we get the entire overpass as well as a bit of a buffer at this stage but we don't want too big of a buffer. Okay so we're happy with that. You can just click on this tool and then click on our eyeball tool. We just want to make sure that we don't have any vertices that may be too close and therefore prevent the edges from being detected. And we should be good. Okay, so now that we have that, we can then go to our road median filter. We're going to increase the size to 25 pixels and we're going to click apply. So now we get a general area here. And the reason we want to do this at this stage is we're just going to regenerate our orthos so that we can use this, which should have smoother and more accurate edges, in order to retrace our polygon. Before we start to retrace our polygon, we need to undo this edit here. So now we can then just go into our polygon and begin to improve it so that it follows the edge of the overpass more accurately. And we'll do the same to the other side. So now that we have our outline and we're pretty happy with it, we can then once again do a road median filter and we're just going to use a smaller filter here because as we know it is pretty accurate as it is. We're just going to go apply. At this point we can now just regenerate the orthos and take a look at the accuracy. So here we can see when we toggle back and forth that overall it's pretty accurate, not bad for an overpass, but we do have some shifts here. If we take a look at our shift, with some of these paint lines, you can see that we have a, a clear one to two pixel shift. So we can do things to sort of improve this area. So we can go add to elevation, and we can add and take away elevation. So for example, if we wish to add 
say a meter, we can do that, we can go apply. It's going to add a meter to the bridge, to the entire bridge. And then we can regenerate this and we can see, do we make it at all any more stable? You can see definitely as we go down here, it's quite a bit more stable. And then what we can do at this point, we're just going to stop it. So I mean you can continue to play with these values and you can even create subsections to just improve the elevation of certain subsections and there's blending options so it blends in nicely with the surrounding areas. Once we're happy with this section, we can move on to section 1. We're just going to draw a polygon once again around here that goes up to the point where it starts to break down. And we're not going to include in this particular video the on-ramp. We'll show fixing the on-ramp in a uh, subsequent chapter. So we can then use this image, of course, to just improve the overall polygon. So remember, we, at this stage, we're really just looking for a bit of a buffer. So we want to get a little bit more than the, uh, the bridge. So we're just trying to improve the edges. We got maybe a little too much here. Okay, so this should be good. So we can now then once again go back to our road median filter. We're going to just do the same process that we did with the last section. So we're going to change the size to 25. And go apply. We're going to regenerate our ortho. Now we get better edges to follow. We're going to undo the change. And then we're going to adjust with the reshape tool. And we'll do the same to the other side. I'm just going to go up here so we're not including the on ramp, remember. Okay, now we can once again take this tool and we can just improve or do minor edits to individual vertices. Here we have maybe one too many in this section there. Just slightly edit this. Okay, so overall, pretty happy with the way that this came out. So I can once again just change this down to something that's slightly smaller, and we can apply the change. If you want, we can apply it multiple times just to get even more of a smoother edge, and then we can regenerate our section here, or our orthos. So we can once again look, and we can see that there is once again a shift here. So here we can take a look and we can, we're just going to do the same approach that we did last time. We're going to add to the elevation. Okay, so here we're just going to try to get rid of maybe 1.5 meters as well. And you can really try to zone in on it. So we'll see how that does. That's made it quite a bit better. So it's a fair bit more stable than it was before. So subpixel. Okay, so now that we have this section completed, the last section that we need to worry about is this broken piece here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to draw a polygon that we believe goes a little bit on along the outline with a bit of a buffer of the overpass. And then we can use this to just improve it a little bit so that our buffer is not too big. Okay. So in this case, we want our edges to make sure that it's within the actual uh, bridge here, or the overpass here, because we're going to be using a different operation that interpolates from this side to this side and provides a nice ramping effect. So we're going to go opposite ends fill this time. We'll do a blending. We're just going to do a 5 pixel port, and then you click apply with overwrite. Okay, so then now we can just regenerate this part. We can see that our bridge is now looking a little bit more uniform to how it should. Okay, so now that we have that applied, we can undo the, the edit. And remember, all we're going to do is we're going to use this updated ortho in order to just improve 
the outline of our polygon along this part of the overpass. We can use the reshape tool if we need to redraw anything. Okay, we'll choose this tool and just make sure that our edges are good, or our corners rather. If we need to make any tweaks to our edges, that's fine. So we can do that here. So we now have a, a better outline of the uh, the overpass here. And then we can choose, once again, the ops and ends fill, or the ops and ends, yeah, ops and ends fill. We're just going to click apply with overwrite. And we're setting a bit of a blend as well. So at this point, we can then regenerate our ortho. And we can see what the accuracy looks like. So we can see overall it's quite good. Now there is things we can do to improve this further. We can see that once again there is a little bit of a movement so we can do the same thing where we can try to increase or decrease uh, the accuracy using that method uh, the method I showed you earlier so this is the general approach that you would want to take for fixing an overpass so you can see we've now fixed this part of the overpass